Who is Scottish gangster Robert Kelby? This is new news to me. So let's uh, talk about it. Push the weight in your fix. Flex the lavish one in the six. Off with the runner boy, you niggas no question. You ain't want a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson. Yeah. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I mean, they walk and drink blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker change like a hoe, nigga. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Um, family has sent me this. Um, the reason why I'm discussing this is um, it must be it must be discussed. I mean, over there, across the pond, these are the things that are in the news. It seems like daily. It seems like it, and it's been in the news all this time. <coughs> Excuse me. We didn't know who Daniel Kennehan was until fairly recently. Uh, come to find out, there were other players at hand. Uh, the family, because we, we got family all around the world, and salute to everybody that supports us. Um, so our family was over there in the, in the UK, and he sees this, and he sent me a YouTube video, and... Um, through the YouTube video, you know, you start Googling names and you get these various articles. It's like, wow, this is two years old, man. I ain't know these guys is dangerous, man. And these guys whole time been rubbing elbows with guess who? Tyson Fury, as you can see in his picture. This man is named. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. This is just unbelievable. It's unbelievable, man, because I'm reading this. His name is Robert Kelby. Robert Kelby, K-E-L-B-E, -E, I'm sorry, B-I-E, Robert Kelby. He's a Scottish gangster, apparently. And I'm sorry, you know, for that pause, because I was just reading these. I have all these articles pulled up. I'm not going to, I'm just going to browse through uh, some of them just to give you a gist of who he is, because the American media is not talking about this. The American media is not talking about this now. Uh, I think yesterday, or the day before yesterday, this happened. Now, it's no secret that um, I am not a fan of Fury at all. He's disgusting for the sport. He's a disgusting human being. All right. He displayed it right here. He was publicly drunk. All right. This is your WBC heavyweight champion. This guy was good for business for you, for you guys who rooted for this guy. He's a disgusting, despicable man. You know, and um, he's a cheater, he's a drug addict, and he's a drunk. Y'all saw the video. He's a drunk. All right? He's a hairless ape. All right? And um, I had no idea. All right? The reason I'm showing you this picture is because apparently one of the people he was with was uh, Robert Kelby. So let me read for you this article. All the links that I'm getting this from, all the all the uh, uh, the links to the articles, I put them in the description. Now, of course, there's going to be people, going to be people that's going to read this and say, "Hey, man, <clears throat> the such and such, where you getting this from? It's not a reliable source." Well, fine. You know, you you get what you want out of this, all right? But here's what I know: this guy rubs elbows with a lot of fugazi people. Crooked people, if you understand American lingo. All right. So this article I'm reading comes from the Sun. The link will be in the description. The Scottish Sun, UK. All right. Kicking off, Tyson Fury flanked by a notorious Scots gangster as he lashes out at a taxi driver in France. They were in France when this happened. I didn't know that. Okay. It says the Gypsy King, age 33. He looks older than that was spotted with Robert Kelby, 38, before aiming a kick at a motor when its driver refused to let him in after a boozy afternoon in Cannes, France. Probably saying that wrong. <clears throat> they have pictures here, him throwing a kick at the uh, cab, a selfie with uh, Robert Kelby and Tyson Fury. Uh, the heavyweight staggered 
and had to be led to the waiting car by cornerman dad John Fury, 57 years old. He looks older than that. Um, who tried to hold him back as he launched his size 13 at the Renault's boot. Okay, uh, Kelby, who has links to, you ready? Links to Irish most wanted crime boss Daniel Kennehan. There's that name again. Knocked back Lager with Fury before his outburst. So they were out drinking. Uh, they're out drinking. That's what L Lager. Okay, you know, forgive me. You know, th there's different things in these articles in the lingo. I'm, you know, just, I'm American. I don't speak English. Ha <laughs> ha! Corny joke or whatever. Um, the convicted fraudster. This is what they're saying. The, the convicted fraudster who has links to the Lions crime clan. Oh my God, what is this? Uploaded pictures to his Instagram. He has an Instagram in his resort town, including footage of the boxer and his dad with pints of Stella at a roadside bar. The clip appears to have been taken shortly after the taxi outburst. So they were out drinking. Tyson has been enjoying downtime after announcing his retirement following his six-round stoppage of Dillian White in London's Wembley, uh, you know, Wembley, Wembley Stadium. Wembley. But he looked worse for wear in an exclusive uh, video as he stumbled towards the waiting car as his dad gripped his arm. Kelby uh, is seen leaning through the passenger side window while Fury tries to open the door before it takes off without him. The fighter is then pulled back as he aims a boot at the motor as it leaves on Wednesday. Fury uploaded a clip yesterday admitting that he had a few sherbets before adding that, he, that the beer is stronger in France. Kelby admitted, you know, to mortgage fraud and fraud in uh, uh, 2012, has survived three assassination attempts. What? And has been at war with the drugs baron in the capital for over a decade. Are you kidding me? Really? These are Tyson Fury's friends, y'all. Look, man. I'm going to put the link in the description. Okay, uh, let me just read. Let me just go through this a, a little bit more. Uh, he, he takes a lot of pics with celebs, including one with Noel Gallagher. All right, Kelby became pals with Tyson after, he, uh, after allegedly landing a job working with him two years ago. All right, I have another article here, up here from 2020 where him and his brother, uh, the, the other kid, the kid with the hair that, that, that kisses men, in, in, in uh, reality TV shows, that guy, his brother, um, uh, he's uh, with them in Scotland. This was in 2020. Um, we told how he claimed to have several, I'm sorry, has served as director of talent for MTK Global. The boxing promotions firm linked to Mopsa Kennehan wanted in connection with the underworld, with underworld killings. You know what? Let me, okay, all right, wait, I have to read this because I saw a name here I want y'all to hear. Okay, it advised Fury, former middleweight and super middleweight champion, Billy Joe Saunders, and Scottish light welterweight world title holder, Josh Taylor. Okay, MTK Global sensationally closed the head of the Gypsy Kings Wembley Triumph last month when U.S. cops put a $5 million bounty on founder Kenahan. He is believed to be hiding in Dubai, the Scottish son has approached Fury's representatives for comment. Okay? That's one article. That link will be in the description. Y'all can read it. All right? Um, he was uh, in attendance uh, uh, with, with Fury. He was at the uh, Fury White fight. There's pictures here. I'll put the link will be in the description. But um, here's why I'm sharing this, y'all. I mean, look, man. These are the people. Okay, this is him. Notice he has on a Kronk Gym shirt. Okay, this is him running with him. This guy, Kelby, used to be a, a former boxer himself. Okay, this is him and his brother in Scotland with him. Now, I just read you who these guys were. These some bad mofos, man. 
This guy is linked and connected to the underworld. We all know what's going on with Daniel Kennehan. And I'm not even going to hold you. I am just now reading the name. Robert Kelby. I don't know who the hell this dude is. Like I said, the family sent me this and I'm, I saw a video and then, I'm, and then I Googled the name. I said, whoa. What is this? What's going on here? Yeah, what is going on here? I'm asking. I'm asking y'all. Now, MTK closes doors. You know what? At the end of this, it, it, at, at the end of April, they were ordered to close their doors. Now, in that article I, I shared with you, link will be in the description. They mentioned Billy Joe Saunders, who's due to come back. I guess he's going to get his fat ass back in shape. Um, He's coming. He's getting back in shape. He's going to fight sometime this summer. That's what they said. It's going to be a fat camp because he looks like Chris Kringle. He looks like Satan's claws. <sighs> My gosh. Um, And then they mentioned Josh Taylor. You know, um, and no disrespect to Josh Taylor, but see, this is the part in your life where you have to monitor who you're dealing with. I like Josh Taylor as a fighter, but the company he keeps may be his demise. This is some serious stuff here, y'all. So when we say that there was something not right with everything surrounding this Wilder Fury thing and how people weren't asking the right questions and you know, how could he get away with those deflated gloves? And we weren't just making it up. There was something stronger. And then we recently found out that Bob Aram paid Daniel Kennehan $4 million in consulting fees. Either it was $4 million or, four, or, or over $4 million. Regardless, that is a lot to be paying somebody in consulting fees. Let me ask y'all a question. What does Daniel Kennehan know about the sport of boxing that Bob Arum doesn't know? Bob Arum has been in the sport of boxing, making his living in the sport of boxing longer than a lot of us have been alive. And I'm not even joking. He was an old man when he was dealing with Ali. The man is in his 90s. Okay? What position is he in that he has to pay Daniel Kennehan? For consulting, what are you talking about? Consulting means you talk, you talk with someone, and that someone gives you information. That is undisclosed, just like um, Savannah Marshall's in uh, Savannah Marshall's injuries that might postpone her Clarissa Shields fight in the UK. It's undisclosed. I want to know what the injury is. I want to know what, what, what was y'all talking about? Did you have to pay this man? Over four million dollars, or or four million, four million, or over four million. I need to know what y'all was talking about, man. Because I have my suspicions. I didn't. I don't. I'm just finding out who this this Kelby dude is today. What? How come he gets to rub elbows and walk around with guys like this, and nobody says a word? And then when we say there was a grand scheme, there was something strange. They're unplugging cameras. Mauricio Silly Man doesn't know where the damn gloves are. And I said, man, they're in Sugar Hill's house. But when uh, uh, Togo and Labarbi fought, and there was suspicion of, go, uh, of, of, uh, of um, foul play, the gloves was on his desk. And all we asked him to do was extend the same courtesy to your WBC champion who had 10 successful title defenses. He don't deserve any respect. You didn't say, let me see those gloves? No, you sat there and said you was in both locker rooms and you saw them put on the gloves before and after and take them off after before and after the fight. You saw no foul play. Man, you're lying. Tay Jones has extensive video of the locker room when D was getting warmed up in the second fight against Fury. I didn't see you, man. You're a liar. You are a liar. This is absurd, man. 
I can believe that this is the this is a big this is this is deeper than just boxing, y'all. Now, for those of you that can celebrate this stupid ass behavior, you're just content being right. And you have something wrong with you that where you just don't like Deontay so much to the fact you don't want to pay any of this attention. But you know something? In the 70s, Muhammad Ali took a stand. And the U.S. government said, nope, you ain't fighting for a few years. You're going to go have a seat. And everyone says, when they did that to him, they took away his prime years of his career. And when black people knew what the government was doing to him to make a statement to buck break Muhammad Ali, many black people said, no, nah, that's effed up. But they did it. They did it. Converting to Islam, changing his name, he stood on that. That's what men do. He stood on it. No matter how crazy he looked, he stood on it. And for the most part, a lot of black people supported him because they understood the bigger picture. But there were some Negroes. Oh, I don't like how he, he's so brash. He's so arrogant. I hope he gets knocked out. Yo, you don't know what this man represents? Do you know why he's doing this? Everything he stands, he stands up for his people. What are you talking about? No, nah, you just looking too deep. Home slick. You jive turkey. I'm just keeping it boxing. I know there's racism. But you looking too deep into this. Is he standing up for his people? Then why don't he box for free? These are conversations that was being had. He's really doing this for his people? Why don't he box for free then? Uh-huh. He's doing it for him. Whole time, they just hating on the man. We've been surrounded by monkeys long before I've been playing that video, y'all. These, these, these Neanderthals and these apes been walking amongst us for a long time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hate Ali. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hate Deontay Wilder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Banana breath smelling monkeys. Orangutan slang. Planet of the Apes looking ass. Cobra looking ass. Seamoss looking ass. Whole time, these dudes right here, all right? This is them, y'all. Living their best life. We got to fight the monkeys and explain why everything was wrong in reference to Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Everything was wrong. This was deeper than three or four guys saying, we're going to take padding out the gloves and hope we get away with it. No. It was done. Those gloves was packed a certain way. It was done. That million dollars went a long way. Everybody was paid to turn their head. Till this day, the Nevada State Athletic Commission cannot explain why they removed Mike Ortega and inserted Russell Mora. Who, I might add, did one of the worst refereeing jobs in the history of the sport. Look up Abner Mares versus Joseph Agbeko. Look it up. He caught heat for that. And then they pulled him. They, they, he was supposed to be the co-main event referee. They made him the main event referee. That was suspect in itself. And guess what? The camps didn't know. Well, Team Wilder didn't know. I found out. I called Tay Jones. Tay Jones called Malik. No one knew. And then he botched the count. Surprise, surprise. Andre Ward caught it. I was in attendance. I caught it. Check my video. Deontay Wilder knocked him out. He was walking to a neutral corner. Morva pulls him away from the corner, points him to another corner. Picks up the count at five, I believe. Then directs Deontay to go to a corner he was walking to in the first place. Lost two seconds on the count, man. He knocked this guy out in the fourth round. So once again, multiple wars we were fighting. But if you just cool with saying, hey, man, look, I was right. Y'all was wrong. He, we, we won. Who's we? These aren't excuses. This is real. But the block is hot now because now the refs are under a microscope, a la Canelo.
Why wasn't Eddie Ray no show telling Canelo, put your foot on the gas, you're losing? No. He told him, yo, stick behind your jab. He didn't say going for the kill. Bivol was whooping on him. Whooping on him. He told him, stay behind the jab, meaning just survive. You're Canelo. The judges got you. Well, I was fooled like everybody else. I was fooled. The, rest, the judges did the best they can. They gave you the first four rounds, which was impossible, and it still didn't help. And I'm like, why did that happen? Well, the block is hot. America put a $5 million bounty on Daniel Kennehan's head. Sooner or later, they're going to catch up to this guy. And they're going to throw a mic in his face. And they're going to they're gonna need information from him. And the, he, as a boss, has no loyalty to anybody. And I can't wait to see who he names he's worked with. And there's a saying, shit rolls downhill. It'll start with him. They're going to ask what that $4 million you got from Bob Aaron was about. And they're like, hey, what do you think it was about? We needed to make sure that Tyson Fury was winning. Everybody's going to get thrown on the bus. And I just have a, 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 a sneaky suspicion. See, you guys listening to this, you haters listening to this, I told you this wasn't over. I told you. I told you this wasn't over. Y'all don't find it strange she's talking about retiring when he's on the cuffs of undisputed? He really thinks he's going to walk away from this unscathed. No, B, no matter what you do, this is going to come back to you. And it's weird because this really, it, it didn't have to have anything to do with you. Deontay gave you another chance at life. He threw you a bone. All you had to do was fight fair. And you couldn't do that. I suspect everybody was involved. And I'm not going to be surprised if people start getting lifetime bans, suspend, suspensions, temporary suspensions, which would be like two, three years, to doing what they did uh, to uh, Panama Lewis. Lifetime bans. You can no longer compete. You can no longer coach or train. You can have a gym, but you can't even be in a building working. A corner, nothing. Some people are going to get that. Referees will be ruined. Watch. If it comes out, they, they, they look, the government, from what I understand, they already asked people who was affiliated with MTK or Daniel Kennehan, whatever. They're asking them for their bank statements. That's what I read. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. They're asking them, bank statements, please. And if they don't get it, they're going to have to lawyer up. They're going to have to lawyer up. I'm not even kidding. You don't want to give us the bank statements? Okay, fine. Now we're going to give you a court order. Not everybody got money like that just to say, okay, look, I'm getting the hell out of the U.S. I'm going to go live in Dubai. No. And like I said, the example I gave. The, the, the person that works for the commission, Nevada State Athletic Commission with the red coats. What did you do that night? Well, normally you're paid to stand right here by the door. That day you wasn't there. Where was you? Well, I took a walk. Normally on big events, you get paid $3,000 that night. I'm just throwing a number out there. Did you get paid $3,000 that night? What did you get paid that night? $8,000. $8, and normally you stand here. They just told you not to stand there. They told you to stand over there. Normally you bring the water in and the refreshments. You didn't you didn't bring it? No. Well, why did you do why didn't you? What did you <laughs> what happened? I don't know. But you did know you got paid an extra five thousand dollars that night to turn away. I'm telling and this is just an example. This is just an example. But things are quiet right now. And and through my experience, when things get quiet, that's when things are moving. Listen to what I'm saying, family. When things get quiet, that's when things are moving. And if it's true that they're asking for bank statements, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think my uh, uh, Tyson Fury's retirement is strange. Magically, no one cares about Undisputed anymore. Yeah, I noticed Mauricio Suleiman been a lot quiet. 
talking about Deontay Wilder's number one contender now, and he's talking up on him now. He's talking up on him right now, lying, saying that he spoke to him. Believe me when I tell you, family, he hasn't spoken to him since fight night. Or maybe a day or two after that, but they haven't spoken in a long time. Trust me. Now you're talking up Deontay now? You're on to the next because Fury's saying he's retired? How about this? You need to be worried about why he's retiring. You still working with Daniel Kennehan? Last time we asked you about him, you said, I'm not Interpol. I'm not the police. He's great for boxing and bup, 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 bup. The next day, $5 million bounty on his head. You didn't say anything. But you talking up Deontay now? I wonder why. You need someone to put a word in for you? Hey, man, you know, I wasn't really working with that guy. I didn't know he was a gangster. Yes, you did. All these people know. Look at this. They look like a crime family. Look at them. You can't be serious. This is ridiculous. This ain't being spoken about on this soil. It was just another boxing match where the black man lost and y'all are celebrating. But this is happening in real time. I'm dropping every link. He's been working with this guy since 2020. And he's linked to Daniel Kennehan. This was important stuff, y'all. I had no idea who this guy was until today. I believe he was at, no, I don't think he was in Vegas. But he was at Fury's last fight against Dillian White. Where Dean White was celebrating Fury's win in a pub. You understand? None of these people can be trusted, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Cronk Jim, y'all. Look at that. Can't make this stuff up. Cronk Jim, Detroit. Do y'all remember when I told Sugar, you know, Sugar Hill, Sugar shit rolls downhill? Sugar shit rolls downhill? Not only are you American, but you're the black American. When shit goes downhill, what do you think they're going to do to you, man? Remember what I said to Sugar Hill? I said, I do hope you understand the term in concert. Remember, when you hear that in, 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 on YouTube, anywhere in a, a boxing conversation, just remember the truth told you that. I not told you that. I told that straight to Sugar Hill. In concert. When they get these guys like Kelby or Kennehan and they start singing, they're like, you know what? If I'm going down, I'm taking anything with me. Why should I go down? And everybody was taking money from me, paying me to do things for them. They're just as wrong as I am. So if I got to get locked up, these guys got to get locked up. They got to get some kind. They got to get inconvenienced too. And he's going to start singing. You're the little there. hee hoo One of these, when all of these people get open up their letter, open up that letter in the mail, talking about, yeah, man, you got to come down to such such courtroom. Or worse, if the authorities come to the house, knocking on their door. Yeah, Mr. Hill. Yes. You got to come downtown. We got questions for you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yup. And if you don't get any jail time, they might F around and ban you for life. You can't train anybody. Just, just run the Kronk Gym, dude. But you can't train anybody. You can't do anything. You can't do it for money. You can't take money from a prize fighter and help him out. And, and, and You can't do any of that, but you can't run your gym. That's it. That's a blemish enough. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying don't be surprised if it does. I told y'all this ain't over. This is only the beginning, man. So the links will be in the description. Y'all do your own research. You make your own assessments. It makes me know, never mind. I don't care. I just find that this is strange because if Deontay Wilder was running around with guys that had reputations like this, y'all would have a field day. And y'all know y'all would. Y'all be in our chats talking nonsense. And guess what? If he was rolling with criminals or former criminals, Justifiably so. 
y'all y'all would have questions and i wouldn't say anything yeah well that dude used to destroy his community fine whatever but being that this this six foot nine three hundred pound cheating ass gypsy y'all got nothing but we're gonna see enjoy the fireworks bronze on deck Move!